fucking toys get on my nerves. Like, I would legit think my son's toys possess. Like, it's making noise. Nobody's playing with it. So, Liam drove me to his place. And I still, I'm still ass naked. Make yourself at home. You can stay here as long as you need. But your mother's, uh, but you, you, is this your mother's, wait, is your mother going to be okay with this? Don't worry about that. I do what I want. Oh, okay, girl. I don't want to bother her. And I don't want to have, and, and I don't have any money. Don't worry about money, Blake. And my mother is never home anyway. Thank you. Now, it's not that I don't appreciate the view, but you should change. For real. Like, legit. I can't thank him enough. I can't believe my mother kicked me out. Girl, what did I do? Except defending myself. But anyway. Are you saying some fucking sweats, child? You stress me out with your bland ass taste in fucking clothing. I don't want to go to school this afternoon. I just want to lie down. So that's what I did. I lay down in Liam's bed. I want to forget about everything that happened today. It kills me to be alone in this world. To be hated by my own mother. To be hated by everyone. I started to cry. I couldn't help it. This is, uh, is there a place somewhere made for me? <laughs> a place where I could be happy? I don't think so. Are you sleeping? No. I was under, um... I was under the, the dip. I don't know what that word is, you guys. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, I wasn't facing him, so he couldn't see that I was crying. All he could see was my hair, I guess. Are you okay? Yes. No. Do you want to go to school? No, I just want to sleep if you don't mind. I felt him lay down behind me. He held his... He held me in his arms without saying a word. Okay. I'm sorry. This is my fault. No, it's not. I didn't mean what I said. He wanted to protect me. I can't blame him. I shouldn't have told him anything. This is my fault. I tried to hold my tears, but I couldn't. I was too sad. Please stop crying. I know you're sad, but she doesn't deserve your tears. She's evil. I know, but she's my mom. Aw, I burst into tears. The only thing that I want is love, and I can't find it anywhere. She's a bitch. Ah, he held me tight against him. She is a bitch. I'm sorry, she's a bitch. I hate her. We stayed like that for a while, and I cried myself to sleep. I woke up hours later, and Liam wasn't here. Let's see what the hell Liam talking about. I needed to go. If you're hungry, you can take what you want in the fridge. My mother won't be home until 11. See you later. Um, Hey, girl, where are you today? Do you want to come to Tom's house tonight? He's having a party. Hell no, I don't want to go to no motherfucking party. I'm not hungry, and all I want to do is sleep and never wake up. God damn. Can't come tonight. Talk to you later. Have fun. Right, Liam. Thanks. Thank you. See you later. I went to bed and fell asleep after a while. Liam didn't come home that night. Two days have passed and it's now Sunday. Okay. What do you want to eat for dinner? Do you want to go out? No thanks. I don't want to go out and I'm not hungry. You didn't eat anything since you're here. <laughs> I'm not hungry. I just want to stay here alone as usual. Girl, you're being real dramatic, bitch. What am I going to do? I have nowhere to go. I'm alone. You're not alone. You have me. And even if I don't like her, you have Jen too. <laughs> She'll never let you down. Heck, you know. I don't want to see you depressed, but your mother is a crazy bitch. <laughs> I don't want to see you cry because of her. Hell no. Nah. Now I'm going to make dinner. And you will eat. <laughs> okay. 
So we had dinner. I wasn't hungry, but I forced myself to eat. And we talked for a while. Well, Liam, I'm, like, I'm glad to finally see you. Oh, shit. I haven't seen you in days. That's because you're always at work. <laughs> and you're always outside. Y'all stress me out. Uh, I'm not going to say shit. Since we're both here, maybe you could stop yelling at me for once and enjoy this moment. Don't be so rude, Liam. Fine. We stayed with his mother and she seemed like, she seemed actually really nice. I can't believe my son made dinner. Are you a, a magician or something, Blake? <laughs> 18 years and I never saw him use a microwave. <laughs> Enough now. <laughs> Girl, you're mad. <laughs> yeah, anyway, sorry, mom, but we're going out now. We, yes, you come with me. Bye, mom. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Cole. Uh, please call me Lucy. Lucy Tolucci. I'm going to call her Tolucci. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Where are we going? You'll see. Where are we going, girl? I don't. I don't. I don't like surprises. We going to the fucking Ferris wheel, girl. <sighs> I thought that maybe you missed your tree. This is awesome. So we went on the fucking Ferris wheel. <laughs> the view was beautiful. We could see all the city lights and feel the fresh air on our faces. We seemed so small. So small. Sorry, guys. Liam definitely knows how to make me happy. I really enjoy his, this moment. It was awesome. Thank you. All the city lights, it was beautiful. Thank you. Girl, you just keep saying fucking thank you. But where are we going now? You'll see. Please tell me. But for once. What, what the fuck is it? You'll see, girl. He didn't tell me. Clearly. After a while, we arrived to a place that looked familiar. I recognize this place. This is where I was lost. This is where I lost Jen last week. This is where I love to go when I'm alone. Oh, so now you're a romantic guy. Just never. Girl. I wanted to show you this place, but since you don't care, we can leave. Um, I never said that. You know I, you know I care about you. Isn't it obvious? Clearly, girl. And I love this place. It's beautiful. We stood there without saying a word. So I was thinking, what what were you thinking, girl? What about your stepfather? Does he know? Does he hit you too? Girl. Girl. Girl, you just gonna lie like that, child? No, he doesn't. He's nice to me. I can't tell him. I can't. He never, he'd never see me in the same way. And I don't want that. I don't want him to know. I love him. And I'm too ashamed to tell him the truth. So why doesn't he say anything? He didn't know. The only time he finds her... Oh, wait. The only time he finds her hitting me, he hits her. That's not what I want. Come on. She deserves it. Girl. But Liam has a point, man. Uh, John will be back. He will want me to come home. I'm sure of it. Sorry. No, it's fine. We can go home if you want. Yes, it's a good idea. So we went home and I quick and I fell asleep quickly. Where have you been? I haven't seen you in days. My mother kicked me out. What? Why? It's a long story. Where do you live? Are you okay? I stay with Liam. <laughs> Are you two together or something, girl? Did you sleep with him? You can tell me, Blake. No, I told you we're just friends and he helps me a lot right now. <sighs> you can tell me if you need anything, Blake. Thanks, but I'm fine and I'm sure I'll be back home soon. Girl, you don't look so happy about that, baby. Five days have passed. I'm still at Liam's. I still help him sometimes with lessons and homework. And he still shows me how to defend myself. 
but he's often outside doing I don't know what. Thank you for letting me stay here. It's my pleasure, Blake. Since you're here, I can see Liam more often. You're nothing like the other girls he brings around here. And he seems to like you. Do you think? Maybe. I don't see him a lot, but I still know my son. I'm sure he likes you. And above all, he never lets it, any girl stay here. Never. You love him, don't you? You might as well tell her, yes, girl. Be careful, Blake. Yeah, Liam is my son and I love him with all my heart. But he has a lot of issues, girl. A lot of fucking issues. He's incapable of forming an attachment with anyone. If only you could change him. I know, deep down, he's a good guy. What happened? Why does he act like that? Mm, if I tell you, you have to promise me you won't say anything to anyone, especially Liam. It's forbidden. It's a forbidden subject here. Liam never wants to talk about it. What the hell is she talking about? Right. Uh, did he get raped too? <laughs> I'm sorry. Am I the only person thinking that? <laughs> you have my word. You know you can trust me. I don't uh I know how to keep a secret. Yeah, bitch. Keeping the secret that your goddamn stepfather's still in your vagina and shit. Hold on, y'all. I have to put this toy out of my room. Seriously. Like legit it's stressing me the fuck out. My husband, Liam's father, mm -hmm, was a police officer. Okay. He put plenty of people in prison. Okay. But I guess some people don't care about laws. Okay. And one day, my dear husband was murdered in the middle of the street. Okay. All right. He was shot by some men driving around. And Liam was with them. Oh, damn. They went out to buy some ice cream. Hmm. My poor baby. He was eight and he saw his father die in front of him. The police never found who did this. That's ho It's horrible. I'm so sorry I shouldn't have asked. No, it's okay. I feel good. It feels good to talk about it, actually. Liam never wants to talk about it. Um, We were so happy. His father is a, was a good man. He was the love of my life. And he was everything to Liam. I guess that's why Liam doesn't care about anything now. He doesn't believe in justice anymore. He doesn't want to be a good man because that's what his father was. And now he's dead because of that. This is so sad. Please don't tell him that you know. He'll never forgive me. I won't. Thank you. I have to go to work now. See you later. See you. <laughs> Everything makes sense now. Poor Liam. It breaks my heart to know that he what he went through. Girl, what the fuck you crying? Oh, girl, what the fuck? Okay, it took me a moment to put myself together. I wish he'll open up to me one day. I wish he will be able to go through this. Girl, why don't you tell him that you was getting raped and maybe he'll tell you about his father getting fucking murdered. After a while, it was time to change. I'm going to Tom's pool party tonight. What can I... Let's, let's see what the brown be like, girl. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, we, we, we can wear this flower or whatever shit. Even though it's the same shit. I should clean up a little before leaving. I started to put my clothes in the closet that Liam showed me. Then I did the same with his clothes because his bedroom was messy. I opened the drawer and then I saw there was a gun and a lot of cash. <laughs> and when I say a lot of cash, I'm not kidding. <laughs> I felt cold shivers running over me. Then I heard someone in the house. The drawer was still open. Shit, Liam's here. I tried to close it as fast as I could. I'm here. Oops. What the hell are you doing? It's not what you think. I was just... You're going through my stuff. No, I wasn't. Welcome. I welcome you into my house and that's how you thank me. This is a misunderstanding. Let me explain. There's nothing to explain. I come to my house and find you with my money in your hands. I didn't allow you to... Wait, I didn't allow to you to open this drawer. I showed you the closet you could use. 
I'm sorry, Liam. I'm sorry, too, because I thought I could trust you. Oh, my God. You can't trust me. Obviously, I can't. I shouldn't have brought you here. But... <sighs> okay, whatever, girl. You ain't got no shoes on. But where the fuck are you going without no fucking shoes? I can't believe it. What does she think this... Wait, who does she think she is? Maybe I was a little hard on her. No, I wasn't. She didn't have to do this. What did she... Bitch, what did she do? She... Who am I kidding? I'm a jerk. I yelled at her. I probably scared her. Mm-hmm. Yep. And where is she going dressed like that? Oh! Oh! Are we concerned now? Were we concerned when we was just cussing poor little fragile ass wake the fuck out? What's going on? Where are your goddamn clothes? Liam and I had a fight. He really scared me. He said that he shouldn't have brought me to his home. You're shocked. So what? What's his problem? Seriously. Just calm down, please, Jan. You can spend the night here if you want. Really? But your parents? My dad's never home. He works a lot. I'm alone here. Thank you very much. No problem. Now let's enjoy this party. Where y'all fucking clothes at? Oh, it's a pool party? Okay, thank you. Look who's here. Oh, the slut. Okay, bitch. I'm gonna have to whoop your ass, clearly. This is this is what it's come down to. I'm gonna have to whoop your ass at this party, girl. <sighs> Try to don't think about him. What? Try to don't? Okay, try not to think about him. Just enjoy the party. Hi, Blake. Oh, bitch. What What the fuck? What do you want, girl? Just to say hi. Wait, just to say my friend Tom. Wait, just say to my friend Tom that his parties are not what they used to be. What are you trying to say? That she shouldn't be here. She has nothing to do here with us. This is my house and I invited her so you have nothing to say. I don't want to be seen with her. Then you can leave my house. Are you serious? Get the hell out of here before I kick your ass, Tyler. You and I are not friends. You don't deserve to be popular. Actually, you're a fucking asshole. You lied about everything. You made her look like a slut. She's a bitch. Oh, shut up before I make you regret it. Thank you. Thank you, Blake. You better goddamn finally stand up for your motherfucking self, bitch. <sighs> you were supposed to be my friend, but you took his side. You in fucking clear ass, stupid ass. Oh, dear, Blake. I never, I never was your friend. Oh, all I wanted was Tyler. Bitch, okay, girl. And now I have him and you have no one. So who won, Blake? This time, I'm going to kick your ass. I leaked at her. She immediately grabbed my hair. But I punched her in the face, girl. She let go of my hair, <laughs> needless to say. I punched her again. And I pushed her on the ground. I was so angry about Liam. About them. About my mother. About everything, bitch. I came on top of her and I started to punch her again and again. Until I felt someone behind me grabbing me and taking me away from her. It was Tom. I yelled at him. I ordered him to let me finish her. But he didn't. <laughs> Why did you do this? She deserved this. I know, but you have to calm down. You're pretty upset right now. Do you think? Let me finish this bitch. <laughs> Everyone is gone and Lauren was bleeding. You messed her up pretty good. <laughs> the bitch, she deserved this. Hell yeah. <laughs> But you have to calm down now. <laughs> Legit. Calm down, bitch. Thank you for taking my side. Tyler is shit. Tyler is a shit girl. <laughs> and I'm sorry about, you know, ruining your party. Oh, come on. He has parties almost every day. It's, this is no big deal. He legit do. <sighs> How do you have good grades in spite of all the parties you're having? I don't have to study a lot. I learn everything in class. I have a good memory. Yeah, he's so lucky. We stayed here talking about everything for a while. I spent a really good time with him. The next day we decided to go, well, we decided to have breakfast together before leaving his house. 15 minutes calls. Okay, Liam. Liam, 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 Liam. 
Liam. Liam, Liam, you blowing my shit up, Liam. <laughs> Liam. <laughs> okay. All right, girl. Right, girl. You three. Okay, listen to your voicemails. Okay. Hi, it's me. I'm sorry I didn't mean what I said. Please come back. It's me again. Look, I know that you must be upset right now, but I'm worried about you. At least, uh, wait, at least tell me where you are. I'm sorry, Blake. And the last one, me again. I'm I'm really sorry, Blake. Please forgive me. We're friends, remember? Oh, <laughs> and no, I'm not drunk if that's what you think. I'm not at the bar right now. Not at all. I'm worried about you. And I'm also a jerk. Or a shit. I don't know. I haven't made up my mind yet. <laughs> Maybe you can help me and tell me. Oh, what kind of man am I? Probably the kind of man you hate. Mm, well, I'm a crap Blake. I think you know it. By the way, you're beautiful. Did I ever tell... Wait, did I ever told you how... What? Did I ever tell you how much you're beautiful? Because you are. Oh, yes. You are. I think my phone almost is almost dead. Please come home. And if you and if you do and you don't see me, I'm not at the bar. I'm, I'm looking for you. Aw. So just wait for me. Oh, and don't wake up my mom. By the way, she finds you beautiful, too. Girl, are you drunk? See you later. Well, I hope so. Are you are you really not drunk, child? Because you, this drunk shit I'm reading is sound like a drunk ass man at the bar. <laughs> he was definitely drunk, right? I should see if he's okay. Mm, mm, mm. I think Tom and I left Talene's place. I knocked at the door. Hey, Talucci, is Liam here? <laughs> yeah, he's in his bedroom. Good luck on waking him up. Oh, look at Talucci, little ass. Lucy Talucci. Wake up now. If you have something to say, say it now. What do you want, Blake? Blake, you came back. After all your phone calls and messages, did I have a choice? <laughs> What messages? What did I say? Oh, shit. Your ass was drunker than a motherfucker if you ain't know you left some fucking voicemails. Don't listen to me when I'm drunk. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. So does that mean that I'm not beautiful? <laughs> Look, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean what I said yesterday. I'm glad to help you. I guess I overreacted. I didn't want you to find this. Why do you have a gun and so much cash? I told you, I'm a fence. What? And the gun is to protect my house. I live alone with my mother here and it's not a safe neighborhood. I'm sorry, I didn't want to upset you. I know. Bitch, I was just trying to clean your junky ass room up. We spent the day together, hanging out at his house. We ate dinner with his fucking mother. Mm. It felt good to be here. This was a real family. After that, we watched the movie in his bedroom. I love those moments when it was just the two of us. Just the two of us. Say. <laughs> I was laying next to him. I rested my head on his chest. Girl, y'all go together. It was heaven. Y'all, suddenly my phone rang. Y'all go together, bitch. I'm sorry. And I bet you it's that goddamn John. Yep. Your mother wasn't in her good mind. Come home ASAP. Mm-hmm. Bitch, you, you don't have to see that message until about a week or three from now. What's going on? I can go back to my place. My stepfather is home. Isn't, isn't it good news? Yes. Yes, it is. Mm. Girl, it's not, but I have no choice. I can't stay here forever. I can't bother Liam and his mother any longer. I have to go home. I thought I hope um wait though I hope you would spend the uh spend this this night with me. Yes, I love to. 
Oh, bitch, yeah, because, girl, you ain't got to, I spent the rest, uh, I'd love to spend one last night from, uh, far away from my hell, well, far from my hell. I laid down in the bed, but I didn't face Liam. I was upset. He wrapped his arms around me and hugged me tight. You know I'm here, right? If there's anything wrong, you can come back here at any time. Thank you. Oh, I was holding back my tears. I didn't want to leave this place. I didn't want to leave him. Suddenly, he started to kiss my neck. Yes! <laughs> what are you doing? Does it make you feel uncomfortable? I don't know. Bitch, if you don't know, right, girl, <laughs> then let me continue. Thank you. Let me, hold on, before you, before I start reading this, let me take a sip of my goddamn tea. <laughs> mm-hmm. <clears throat> All right, y'all ready? Let's get a cracking. He held me tighter and continued to kiss my neck. But nothing more happened that night. Bitch, what? <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. He just fell asleep next to, we just fell asleep next to each other. Bitch, I then took a good sip of my tea, put my tea on the table. Oh, bitch, y'all, okay, okay, whatever. And for the first time, I felt loved. Did you really? I love him so much. Do, do you really, girl? Luckily, he didn't try anything that night. Because I think that if he had tried, I would have gave him what he wanted. Girl, and you should have been throwing that ass in a circle. Throwing that coochie at his... Oh, okay, Kaya. <laughs> Chill out. <laughs> Let me tell y'all though, she should have been throwing that ass in a circle, okay? Dang, I'm tired of her just getting fucked by her fucking stepdaddy. I don't have time for this. We're getting raped by her fucking stepdaddy and she ain't trying to throw that ass at the, at the real nigga. <sighs> mm -hmm. Had to take another sip of my tea, y'all. I am upset at the moment. And I will continue with this next story.